G'day my friends, Marty Ware from Marty's Garden on YouTube with a six weeks update review about the Cube Worm Farm from Tumbleweed. I've been using this now for a short time but I tell you what, I'm putting it through its full test and I think you'd be surprised at the results and it'll help you whether you're deciding to make a purchase on this farm also. Before we get started, who's this worm farm for? Well, it's for people in small spaces, apartments, courtyards, and even indoors. It's promoted as an indoor worm farm, but see the lid? It doesn't fit real snug. And that's one of the problems that I'm having with, but we'll talk about that more in the video. My very favorite part in this worm farm is actually the catchment tray down below. I use it after I water the worm farm to put on my plants, such as you see here is my new seedlings. And they really, really love it and just grow like crazy when you give them this stuff. So, just so you know, full disclosure, I bought this worm farm. Tumbleweed have never supplied me with any products or paid me any money whatsoever. It is 100% my own viewpoint on this, so you're gonna get an honest opinion. Now, I am a full-time worm farmer slash gardener horticulturist and I love doing what I do and I push my worm farms to the edge. Now this one was a little bit different because we used it as a breeding worm farm to set up cocoons right at the very beginning. So if you're interested in seeing that video, it'll be right up here in the description link, wherever they go, sort of cards, links, etc and you can watch that video. I've also done an opening, so an unboxing of this video, so I'll leave a link also there for it, for you guys, and you can check that out if it wants to help you with your initial purchase of this type of worm farm. Now, what I wanna do is start from the top down and talk about this farm. The first thing is the lid. I mentioned it doesn't fit real great. I don't think it's as good a design as a lid as the maize worm farm. Now, the competitor for that worm farm is a little bit different to this one, but it has a lot of really cool holes in the top here, which the maize doesn't have, so a bit more airflow. I really quite like that. It has a nifty little handle where you can grab it also. And the problem is though, it doesn't fit real good. And it sort of like gets in a bit of a wobble and that can make a bit of a problem because if there's any gaps, it's where the worms like to escape. Now, if it's an indoor worm farm and your lid doesn't fit as good as mine, they could get out underneath the kitchen sink or whatever. Now, worms do escape, right? They just, they're escapee artists. But we want to give them as less chance uh, as possible. The other thing, as we move down into the farm, is there's, uh, I'll show you the second grid here. Now, this is the second grid. So when you're actually using the worms to migrate up, uh, they've ate, eaten all the bedding down below. You put this on top, on top of your bedding, feed new bedding in here, new food, and they move up through and go into this. Now, I thought that this was a great invention, these handles, right? I loved it when I first saw them in the first video for the unboxing. I thought, what a great idea. You know what? I'm going to say it, complete letdown. These handles, for me, have pop out all the time when I'm pulling the farm out. Now, if it's in, sort of they slide down into that round bit, down into there, and then you don't know, and you pull it out, I think it's kung, kung, kung. And so, great idea. They just need to work on this, make it much stronger. And yeah, they're, they're a bit flimsy as well, see? Like, these get really heavy. And I'll see if I can actually pull this one out. Now, I've got some cloth in here at the top that's sort of like a bit of a blanket for them and the baby worms are down inside the farm here. Let's see if we can pull it up in one pop. Oh, we've got it, it clipped in. So if it clips in, it's okay. But look, see they're struggling, and that's only one tray. Like, that's a bit bendy. And uh, yeah, but they do, like, compost and castings get really, really heavy, guys. So I think there's some handles on the side would probably maybe be better for pulling it in and out, like I said. That was just really lucky that they didn't pop out that time. Now, I've still got some ants in this farm, and we had a bit of an ant invasion, so 
I'll leave a, another link up at a card up above for that too if you want to see that. So you can follow on the story of this worm farm. And we've got the bedding in here, which is cocoa peat, right? And just baby cocoons. It's supposed to be equivalent to 1,000 worms, released over about six weeks ago. And look, I'm just going to keep leaving cards up here for all these videos that I'm talking about because that might interest you. And yeah, they're sort of moving through it. Look, I'm not really happy with the whole progress of it all. So I'm thinking about emptying that out and um, starting it again. But I don't want to create that piece of content about this video. Now, it does fit in nice and snugly into the farm. And you can see there, it's a great fit. And it's two stories high. Now, the problem I had inside my white house slash greenhouse here, where I've got my wormery and plants, was the carpenter ants got into this tray. There was a dry spot there, and they laid some eggs in the corner, and they started breeding and nesting in here because there's food for the worms, uh, a dry spot for them inside the greenhouse, and then inside this again. They were happy as Larry, so I had to flush it all out uh, to get it started again. And so I recommended that you leave that in the farm but i recommend now that you take it out don't leave it in there at all until you're actually going to build uh, the second part uh, of your farm now the legs down below they're quite strong and so it's a sturdy farm there's no doubt about it the build of the plastic feels really good it feels really quite strong uh, it doesn't sort of cave in on the sides or anything like that i feel that that though uh, once you put this second one on and you haven't harvested from the tray down below. Now, if you want to learn about harvesting and getting your, your worms and all that type of thing, you can become a worm wrangler. And the worm wrangler, net worm wrangler, level three members area, I teach all about the harvesting, the simple pro method, so you can do it fast and efficiently to get your castings and get your worms out and things like that. So that'll be in a link down below. Become a worm wrangler to learn how to do all that and manage your worm farm properly. But I'll just grab this lid here. We'll whack it back on top and I'll show you what I mean. It's just like, it really doesn't want to fit on good, you know, like I've got to put it this way, that way. And I noticed that after about a few days of owning it. Um, now, it could just be that I've just got a bit of a dud one. Who knows? Um, so I don't really know about that. So I'm just sharing my experiences of what I've had with it. And as I said right at the very beginning, it's for people that are in small spaces. So if you're looking for a worm farm like that, uh, I recommend that you could possibly look at this one or the maize worm farm. I'll grab, grab the maize one just quickly and show it to you. Now, this is not a battle of the worm farms, right? It's only got one train at the moment, the maize one. There is no sort of airflow in the top. There's no handles and things like that. The ants have moved across from that other farm into here now, so I've got a little bit of an ant problem here, but I'll sort that out. That's not a problem at all. Handles on the side for picking it up, they can't sort of fall away and be flimsy, so I actually prefer now the handles on the side. I think that's a much better uh, design. Now, the maize worm farm does sort of have more areas for the ants to get away. The guys just started up the mower up the roads. It's going to get a bit, a bit noisy here. Maybe we'll do a battle of the worm farms coming up in the future between the two. All right, have a great day. Happy gardening. Let me know in the comments box down below if you've got one of these worm farms that we're talking about, the cube or the maze, and love to hear your experiences with it. Before it gets too noisy on that lawnmower, I'm out of here. They're always mowing in the streets as soon as the sun's out. It's been raining so much here. Bye for now. Whew.